Can you first talk to us about this year? What some of those big games? Where did you take that this year? Um, like Coach said, uh, we didn't finish very well. Uh, that was our uh, main point. So sometimes we had to finish. And, uh, I think with a lot of returning starters, we have to see more of the starting defense. Like, we have to improve on that. And, uh, get a better game. And with so many starters back on both sides of the ball, um, how does that help you going with you this year? Like, with the great last time? Yeah, I mean, the experience that uh, being on the field during the game, when the uh, coach had, you know, the lights on on Saturday afternoon, you got to be able to trust your teammates and uh, all those returning starters. I think, uh, you know, it'll be a lot easier for you. So what are you most looking forward to this season? Um, I, I, I love the schedule that we have. Like Coach Mark would say, we don't play anywhere, anyone anywhere. And, uh, I'm just looking forward to this uh, big game. When Coach talks about finishing games, you know, this year versus last year, we were in a lot of games, but we just didn't have it. the second half of life. But, uh, how is that motivating for you coming into this year? You know, you're in so many games, but you just can't get away. Yeah, I mean, uh, all the games uh, that we did lose uh, for a couple we were in uh, at halftime, even winning, uh, that gives you confidence in knowing that you, you're there and you just uh, you know, finish and uh, you know, make sure you're playing every snap and you're just probably like you're beating on every snap. You know, one more question for you. You've been playing with Shane Williams alongside on the field for a long time now. How is one of your guys' time this season? How does that help you with having that chemistry to have been together for a long time? Yeah, uh, this will be our third year shot together. Uh, the chemistry between us is, is, is great. Uh, we kind of know what uh, each other's thinking by now, and uh, that always helps. Uh, it's been fun, too. It's great play. Coach was talking about finishing games, you know, whereas last year you were in quite a few games and just didn't really have that, you know, that final push to, to win. How does that help you this year, knowing you're in some of these games, just it's going to take that little extra? Uh, we've been working on that all season long and the off season as well. We know that we've been in these games, and we know that now what we have to do is actually finish them. I mean, once you've actually seen that play out, you kind of know now what you have to do. So we're, I think we're all a little more hard-nosed and know that we're in these things when we can win them. And when you've played games at Central Florida and you've played at Minnesota and you won that game, how does that help you, you know, going into a place like Air Force or Wisconsin? Well, it's, it's a confidence booster. Uh, lets you know that, you know, you are capable of winning these games. Certain things have to go your way, obviously, but we know after competing with Central Florida and beating Minnesota that, hey, you know, why not again this year? And when you look at the offense you guys have coming back, all the starters, including yourself, um, how excited are you to get going with that offense? I'm very excited. Uh, these are the guys I've been here with for five years now, and we've been looking forward to this season for a long time. And I know that we're all on the same page when we want to go out with a bang and win that uh, Great West Conference Championship. So. One more for you. Uh, hosting Eastern Washington, you know, a defending national champion, they're always ranked to all these polls, number one and everything. And how excited are you for that game to have them come here? That is, uh, as soon as I saw that on the schedule, I was very excited because I know that's kind of like a measuring stick for us if, if we can beat, you know, the number one team and what that says about us. And I'm just glad they decided to come to the Dome because I know they're in for a rude awakening. So. <laughs> Coach Marquardt was talking about finishing games, you know, this year, whereas last year there was some different obstacles that you couldn't quite overcome in the second half. Uh, how do you take that experience coming in this year? Uh, I take that I take that kind of personally because uh, special teams, I feel like I can make a big difference, a big change in some uh, in the uh, in the uh, field position. So I feel like with me getting a big return, like getting us past the 50 sometimes, I, I, I see I see myself as like trying to be super explosive, like get us way past the uh, the 30 yard mark, 50 yard mark, so our offense won't have that many, have a short time to score a touchdown. So I feel like we can finish the game, we just gotta stay hard. We gotta, these two days and now in practice, we, are, we do a fourth quarter session where, where we can't give, like we just can't give up. Like it's like, we just can't give up. It's, it's so hard for us to like, cause we can't, we have trouble finishing the second half. 
and now that we do this this drill and, and practice now, it helps us out to keep it going and not get tired and keep our momentum going and get our team built up and keep everybody motivated. And on some level, I'm sure that you probably take it personally when you guys have a lead late in the game and teams are able to kind of take it to you a little bit after halftime, and, you know, knowing you're right there. Yeah. Yeah. See, I it was it, it was tough, especially North Dakota State game. We was when it was in their home. They was ranked. It was ranked. And we went in the game confident. It was like we was up, up like a touchdown, and we came back out. And they kind of just, I guess they went in and did a couple coaching changes and came out and they were scoring touchdowns. Not ever since that game, I took it. We took it kind of personal. We tried hard, but we're not. We're not. We're never. The year before last, we were never used to going in at halftime, winning and coming out losing. So it was a big thing for us, and we kind of like want that. That was our big change this summer. We tried to. Bring in an extra couple of drills and help us out for longer and stay stay in the game longer in the, for the whole game because it seemed like everybody in the paper was like we're only a first half team we can't finish so now we're taking that personal and we want to make a change it up this year and with that offense with everybody you have come back on offense how does that help that oh that helps a lot because everybody knows the offense everybody knows what to do with me I played more of a special team last year I, I rotated in but this year as a starter I'm at I'm at I'm in a slot position so now I want to make a big difference I Want to be the new guy that come in making big plays, help out Will Power, help out Dusty Nowani, and make just make big plays this year. Coach was talking about finishing games this year, and it always seems like that's the same story, you know, because in a lot of games you're right there, but just couldn't quite get it done. How is that more than this season? Uh, you know, it's it's been our model for pretty much all fall camp. You know, is uh, finishing everything we do, whether it be you know on the field, in the classroom, watching film, or in the weight room. You know, everything we do is uh, about finishing. You know, it left a bad taste, you know, in a lot of our mouths last year, a lot of those games leading going into the fourth quarter and then not finishing. Is it pretty encouraging, though? I suppose at the bottom line, you're in these games, right? You're like, you're not completely out of it. You, you have a chance to Yeah, win. you know, we're a great team. You know, we return 20-some uh, seniors, you know, and we've been in those games, and we know we can play at those teams. We just need to make sure we stay focused throughout the course of the game until the final whistle blows. How about all these starters you have come back on, especially on the defense? How does that help knowing with these big games now? It's just uh, the experience, you know, being able to move forward that much quicker and uh, getting rid of all the little teachings things and being able to, you know, just move forward and get better and better each day. And I asked Adam Broders this too, but, you know, playing alongside Adam, you know, everybody always probably associates you as pair. You know, we've been together now three years. Yeah. What's that like with Adam? Yeah, you know, we've been starting for three years, but, you know, we've been here, came at the same time, five years, and it's, uh, you know, it's been great. You know, Adam and I both came from small schools, both played eight and nine man football, and uh, I wouldn't want to play beside anybody else. You know, the communication and everything is just so much easier when you play with somebody for that long. Uh, Coach was talking about finishing games. Where, you know, last year there were some games where you had to leave, but just gave it up. Mm -hmm. that a motivator coming into this year? It's a huge motivator because last season, you know, we had games in our hand and lost them. And, and it, it was a disappointing season. You know, we beat Minnesota, but we didn't accomplish our goal, which was winning the Great West. So this season, our main goal again is winning the Great West, and we feel that we have the tools to get there because we, on a physical level, we've been training all summer. You know, Coach Jeff Bowman's got us stronger, he's got us faster, and we, we turned 19 starters. You know, we're mature, we're confident in each other, and we're going to have the ability to finish games because we've been there before. So it's just going to be an exciting season. And I was going to ask you, you've been there before, you've gone through those games, you know, how, how much it sucks at the end when you're right there. Right. How does that help going into this year with all these seniors and juniors and veterans? Right. Um, just having all the older guys on the team, all the juniors, all the seniors, especially the seniors, because it means it means that much more than because you know they, they may not put put on pads ever again after the season. So having them out there fighting and, and being able to just to lead the team is going to be fantastic. And you know they, they've they've seen the playbook for years. They've they've seen the opponents for years, and so they know what we need to do to win the game, and we're, we're going to be able to finish, and we expect to finish, and we expect to win that great West Championship. So how about that offense coming back with everybody back pretty much? Mm -hmm. it's, it's some good potential. Today. Yes, the offense is, has already been exciting to see this, this fall. Um, Dante is looking better than I've ever seen him. He's threading the needle like you wouldn't believe, and it, our offense is just awesome. You know, Chris back, obviously he brings so much to the table. Table and our receiving core with Dusty Nowani, Jeremy Blunt, Anthony Williams changing from Troy. You know, we all bring different things to the table and and so teams aren't gonna be able to double team any of us because everyone's gonna go deep. So our offense is fantastic and 
I forgot to mention the whole line. It's almost all seniors, and they are going to protect Dante. And it's just going to be an awesome year. We're going to we expect to just do great things.